Good day, West Coast. Hello, East Coast. Yeah, we're here in lovely, lovely, lovely NYMY. With the Statue of Liberty outside of our window here in uh, Battery Park, New York City. Yes. It's, you it's, can't see it from this angle. No. It's over there. It's right behind the curtain on the right. Here we are uh, ahead of Kiddish Fest starting in a few minutes. This is round two pregame whiskey from the fine folks at Hamilton Distillers, Delbach Distillers Cut Single Malt. That's a lot to say. It is 60.25%. Big boy. And we're just going to go right into this. So this stuff is single malt whiskey that is... What do they do? They dry it with, with mesquite smoke? Yep. They have After. their own malting floor. Yeah. It's not really a floor. And they actually are smoking their whiskey, drying out their whiskey with um, local mesquite. Nice. So it's very, very Sonoran Desert. Sweet. Sweet. I like it. Very dark. Very rich looking. This is darker than the other one. The other one was yeah. a little bit more ambery. Not this one cut. is this one's getting more towards uh sixty point two five. You're talking some big stuff. Yeah, we don't have an age statement, correct? Uh correct. And this is all hundred percent malt? Hundred percent malt. I believe it's coming from Colorado. Okay. Yep. Colorado malt. Yep. Okay. All right, cool. Let's go in on this one. Let's 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 this one. put our noses in. Let's that speed one. this one along. Well uh you go right to it? Back it up. Back, back it up. up. Cheers. Back up. Cheers. Ding, ding, ding. Come on, man. You gave me crap about you know, not doing cheers on camera. Yeah. And then you're not cheering on camera. Yeah, I'm sorry. Typical West Coaster. Whatever that you means. You know what that, the, my first thought on this, because I haven't had this one for a while, is it's much more subtle than I remember it. I don't, it this is not as smoky as the other one. No. It doesn't smell as, as mesquite as the uh, Dorado. Is that what it was called? Dorado, yep. Yeah, it's not, it's not as heavily smoked in flavor. This actually has a little bit more sweetness to it. And maybe now I'm starting to get like some baking spices, some mm -hmm. cinnamon, yep. you know, a little bit more now, as you, opposed to the other one. It's funny. I, uh, I thought in that first one, not that I'm a bacon eater, but I, 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 I smelled bacon on that first one. Uh, bacon. And this one, I don't. This one's actually mm -hmm. much more subtle. Less, uh, I don't less know. Less meaty? Less meaty. Yeah, this is, this is now starting to get, I'm thinking more like scotch. It's starting to taste more like a Highland, maybe. Well, I don't think you're going to say that necessarily when you no, go, but I mean smell wise. When you taste it, smell wise, yeah. You know, interestingly enough, for sixty percent, I thought for sure it would be a lot more vapory, but it's not. Nope. Like I'm not getting a whole lot. Of, you know, sometimes you open these whiskeys yep. up and it's like it's just like no, fumes. It's this is definitely not fumey. No, it's not, not like a big burst of of alcohol in your nose. No, not at all. Which is interesting. At sixty percent, you think you'd think it would. It'd be but smashing in the not. face. Not. So, all right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna go in. We have to get through Kiddish Fest, too. How are we gonna do this? It's a lot of whiskey. We're strong men. Strong men. We're strong men. With I've used the analogy, it's like training. It is training. And we're prepped. We are prepping. We're ready. We're responsible. We you know, this is like you know, like you know, like when they're when they're when they're like just taking their little threes before the game starts, before the tip off, just getting into the rhythm. They call it warm -ups. practicing their five. Yeah, warm ups. Yeah, warm ups. Yeah. This is the warm up. This, this is the warm up. Is this is our liver saying. More, please. This is our liver wearing sweatpants. It is our is our liver wearing sweatpants, <laughs> ready, to, ready to rip them off and play the big game. Yes, we have clothes underneath the clothes ripping off. We, we, yeah, because nobody wants to see us rip them off our clothes. No, 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 no. No, we won't have any of that. No, we need the old tear waste of the 1970s. There are laws, you know. There are laws. There are laws. Especially in this city. You're damn right there are. Wow. So this is actually, I, the, we had that Dorado earlier. Mm -hmm. this, this actually feels more... Um, Gummy, I don't want to say more lockish hmm. or or, or uh, um, cleanly, cleanly ish ish, ish. Cleanly -ish. Um, but it definitely has a, a bigger mouth feel to me. Right, but it's odd though because my tongue itself is not burning, nope, but around my mouth, exactly. It's on the like, outside, like, on the like, gums, yeah, on the, on the on the sides of your tongue. How does that happen? I don't understand. It's all what is this? What's what kind of alcohol? What is this? Eth not ethanol. What's the word they call this? I don't know, I don't know, whatever. I'm sure there's a chemical. Anol. Problem. Just say anol. Sure. Anol? Okay. It definitely has that mesquitiness to it as the as the Dorado. And um Yeah, but not as. It's it's different. It is. I don't remember if this is the the distiller's cut, and I think they kind of mess around a little bit with the barrels. Okay. So it's maybe not all brand new mm -hmm. oak. So there could be something else in there. I'd have yeah. to go look at our uh, 
my notes and see if this was in some sort of other kind of cask. Because um, they do a, like one of these a year, I think, and they're a little bit different each time. So this one's definitely not the same. I can tell this is not just 100% new. No, new, well, new I don't know. Now. You would know better than I would. But it, it's very nice. I think it's very nice. Yep. You know, it's it's different. I think it's a lot different from the other one. It's not quite as herbally. No. I'm getting and, a little and, bit more of the sweetness. And I think that's the difference. You see in that, if, if the Dorado is the basic, and this mm -hmm. is like a different extension of that. Yeah. Because, uh, one, there's no water added, and there's a different... Uh, uh, cast maybe possibly being involved. Yeah, you're different. You're seeing a difference. All the subtle subtleties that this thing can come out. Yeah, and be with some little bit of effort. It's nice. Now, as I'm drinking it more, it's getting it's, the, the heat is building. Mm -hmm. It's definitely getting a little bit hotter. I mean, again, we're drinking sixty percent alcohol. I so. would suggest that it doesn't taste like sixty percent. No, it's not. It's no. not. Again, not harsh at all. Not harsh. So I don't know what kind of voodoo they're doing out in the desert. It's the hoodoo voodoo that we don't, don't know. know. Is there peyote what? in this? Is that what's I the big thing I don't know that peyote is one of no, the no actual peyote. part. I don't know that. I don't know. Either. No comment. You can either confirm no, or deny. There might be rattlesnake <laughs> juice in there. It's the Sonoran Desert where all kinds of beautiful things happen in nature. Right. So anyway, going back to the whiskey, enough about these little stories about rattlers and scorpions. Scorpion bowl? How about a scorpion bowl? It's a scorpion bowl. Is that the big drink? Scorpion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, a scorpion like bowl. Tiki, the tiki punch. Yeah, the tiki punch. Interesting connection here. <laughs> so their the the their brand ambassador head of marketing at uh -huh. uh, Hamilton, my friend Dale Riggins, is a tiki. Aficionada. A, a uh, maybe nerd's a negative term, but she is a tiki. Tiki person. geek. And she told me. That there is a there's a whole southwestern tiki world. Interesting. Can you imagine a tiki party in in Tucson? No. Cactuses wearing hula attire. I'm in. Why not? Would that be crazy? I'm in. You're in. I'm in. Scorpions drinking <laughs> scorpions. I like it. I like it. And it'll have like a Mexican flavor. Oh, like ooh la la. Sopapillas. Sopapillas. Sopapillas in a scorpion bowl. Sounds good. But back to this whiskey. Uh, it's it's really nice. It really is. And how long have they been doing this? I believe they're about four years old, approximately. Good. You know, it's amazing. I mean, there there's just so many distilleries. Yep. There's so much product. There's a lot of really good product. There's yep. a lot of crap product, but there is a lot of good stuff. Yep. You know, I, I, and I just hope they do well, and I hope they survive. Well, it'd be nice to see the company evolve. I like to see these kind of companies that are trying to be innovative, and they have actually a a legit story behind them it's right. not some made up thing about the old west blah right, right, blah, right. blah blah and they're some kind of voodoo, made up, and hoodoo voodoo and nonsense and made it from saddle sores and yeah. we decided to take the yeah. leather, take the yeah. leather take the leather and <laughs> and make it into some whiskey like yeah. my old grandpappy did no this is a legitimate thing that happened in uh uh, the backyard of the owner I like and uh, started off. I want to see this furniture. I got to go online and check it out. Yeah, the curious. furniture was award winning. It was just amazingly beautiful. Because that's some crazy looking wood. It's not well, like it's a straight cut. You're not going to go straight cut on a mesquite. It's crazy. Mesquite's a very broad term, and I'm not sure the actually mesquite that they use for actual uh, furniture making or for this, but uh, the, the trees that they use are bushes, actually. Um, okay. Can have, you know, nails in it. And, bullets and whatever yeah because they're out in the wild and they got gotcha. like farms making this stuff right. and it's not straight like like pine or mm -hmm. oak so it it creates a lot of interesting knots and a lot of waste and hence the waste got to gotcha. the backyard into the fire pit and Sounds boom good. you got so this whiskey is eco-friendly and we like it, it is eco-friendly there's nothing wasted here and we like it and we're not wasting it no we're not you better not waste that. Oh, we won't. Oh, okay. All right. Well, sir, again, thank you for sharing. Excellent. This was delicious. And uh, Stillers, Dalbach. Hey, why don't we go get some barbecue? We and need more to go whiskey. get some barbecue and some smoky stuff. Yeah, baby. All, All right. right. Cheers, folks. Cheers.